What's going on, Team KD? So it's your girl Kai. I'm back with another hair video. So today I'm gonna show you how I got this hair color. But let me pause this, right? So we're just gonna ignore the fact that my lips are moving in this little clip because I lost the original footage that I had after I did this hair. And this is the only clip I have of me with this hair color. So yeah, we're just gonna ignore the fact that my lips are moving. But anyways, let's get into the products that I'm using. I'm gonna be using the Clairol BW2 powder, the Salon Care 40 Volume Developing Cream, um, the Ultimate Color Repair Shampoo, the generic brand from Sally's. And I'm also gonna be using the Revlon Color Soak Beautiful Color dye. So I'm using the number 31, a 48, and I believe two 49s. So they're all supposed to be like an auburn-ish, reddish type of, yeah, I don't know. I just came up with this color. So the hair that I'm using today is by Yairo Hair. And this hair is bomb. Like The hair is so silky. Like, I really love it. But I'm going to be using the Peruvian Body Wave in inches 22, 24, 26. And I have a 20-inch frontal. The link to this hair will be in the description bar below because I highly recommend this hair. Like, it's really bomb. Like, I really fell in love with this hair. But anyways, let's get into the tutorial. So we're going to start this off by mixing the BW2 powder with the 40 volume developer. And I basically just start bleaching the hair. Like, I don't have certain measurements or how many scoops or how, many, how much developer I put. I just mix it up and whatever happens, happens. So I bleach the hair. Um sloppily and fast because like i just have no patience and sometimes you just have patience but i have none at all so you're gonna see i messed up but i fixed it so yeah whatever i just started bleaching the hair i even bleached the frontal with the hair on it if you get what i'm saying and i kind of messed up because i made the knots and the roots of the hair like super blonde and the rest of the hair was like still dark brown so i had to go back and double bleach the hair well at least the frontal and I, this time I just bleached the hair and not the frontal part. And it basically came out the color I was going for. I was going for like an orange color because I want the red to show, but to be like an orange undertone, if you get what I'm saying. So I used a new method. I forgot where I seen this method, but a lot of people have been using it. Where you take your got to be gel and your free spray and put it on the lace. So the color that you're dyeing the hair doesn't dye the lace. And it basically worked. It was good. But I seen another way where people only use the free spray, which I'm going to try next time because it took four freaking ever for it to dry with the glue and the free spray. But it did work. My lace did not get tinted. It wasn't tinted red. So I did that. I got to the hair to the color I wanted. Then I mixed all the Revlon Color Silk dyes together. And then I put it over the hair. But as you can see, my hands were like really messy. So I needed Derek to come help me. So he came and helped me and squeezed some of the um dye onto the hair. While I massaged it in. And I left it for about like an hour and a half. And that's how I got this color. Like super simple guys. So let me know what you think of this hair color. I love it. It was bomb.